morning everybody, it's Gina. Welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67. Um, today I thought we would do a project using the Arteza acrylic colors. Um, I got these, um, as you know, a while back from the company and um, I told them I would do a, a demonstration on how to use these within the junk journals. So, <laughs> I'm going to share today how we can take the bits of trash that we've got from our packaging and turn those into some tags. And here is one that I've done. Now, I don't claim to be an artist. You guys know that um, I've dabbled in painting, but it's been many, many years ago. This is not um, a tutorial on how to paint. <laughs> This is to demonstrate um, the Arteza acrylic paints and how you might want to play around with those and, and just give it a try. It's a very simple tag, but I actually love how it's come out because I'm, you guys know I'm working on a kind of like a garden themed journal and it's going to have a lot of florals in it. Um, and this is just really simple. As I said, I'm not claiming uh, to be an artist at all. This is just playing around and I just thought it'd be kind of fun because maybe you've had an interest in dabbling with, with some um, paints that you've got. and um, So let's just get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is gather up your, um, your bits of packaging that we would normally end up into going into the trash. But um, Andrea, who is Artie Mays, has showed us that is a massive mistake with her uh, Junk in the Trunk series. So thank you, Andrea. You are the inspiration behind this. Um, so let's just get started on what you're going to need to do to prep those first. And the first thing I would recommend um, is to get a coat of gesso applied to these. And we'll do one very quickly and then... Um, I'll leave you to uh, carry on doing that yourself because it's there's nothing, um, you know, special about the way I'm applying it. But I, I would recommend that you do this step because it, it will give the paint something to grip onto. So just put a layer of the um, gesso on here. I'm not going to worry too much on that one because that the craft would be kind of cool to show through. Um, but then you might want to come back over this a couple of times because I, I want to cover up any of the words. Um, depending on your style in art, maybe you want that to show through. But for what I'm wanting to do, I'm just going to cover these up. Um, and it's just a bit of fun to to play around and and do projects like this, you know, from time to time. And... Yeah, I've been dabbling with it, and I enjoy it. It's, like I said, I don't claim to be an artist by any uh, stretch of the imagination. It's not what I normally do, but um, it's been years since I've played around with paints other than watercolors. And um, so when I had the opportunity to try these, I thought, oh, it'd be kind of fun to, to play around again with some acrylics. And the other thing, obviously, um, and I probably won't do a tutorial on this, the acrylics would be great for journal covers as well. But I just thought I wanted to do something different because the journal cover, um, you can kind of figure that out on your own. So there you can see just a light um, layer of gesso and then let those dry. And if you need to come back for the wording and cover that up, then you just apply however many coats it takes um, to do that. So here is one that I've already done and that's dried so we're going to start on this one. Now the colors that I'm using in this tag are the titanium white, the gray, yellow green, Chromium oxide green. I guess that's how you pronounce that. You know my pronunciation of words is terrible. I'm not even going to attempt that. <laughs> it's the A111 blue. <laughs> Violet and then mauve pale. 
um, so those are the colors. So the first thing I did for this one was I got a, um, a layer of the gray and the white going in the background. So just get a little bit of white, and I'm sorry for the messy surface here, guys, but uh, I have been playing around, so... So I'm just going to mix a little bit of the white into the gray, not a lot, and then I'm just going to lightly put that across there. Maybe a little bit darker if there, you know, there was a little bit of the wording still showing through, so I'll just go over it a little bit darker there. And then get it to the color that you want. I just, in my mind, I was thinking, oh, it'd be kind of nice to have like a, a weathered uh, piece of wood background and then try to, to paint the, um, the lavender on top of that. So you can see I'm not um, mixing it too much because I like the variation on that. Okay, so the next thing I did was I took a little bit of the pale green and just a little bit of this um, A149 green. <laughs> and I'm not even going to worry about cleaning the brush, to be honest, because I want it to blend from the bottom up. So I'll tell you what I will do. I'll get a bit more white I put down. And it's just a bit of fun. I don't, it's, you know, more uh, these... Just kind of abstract flowers, I guess. But it's just fun to do something a little bit different. And so from the bottom of the tag, I'm just going to bring some of the green up so that it'll just kind of look like a field. And just keep adding until you feel like you got the right amount of it. And if you have to add a bit more um, white to it, go ahead. Yeah, that's fine. And like I said, this is nothing precise. I'm just playing a bit. So I think the first thing I'll do <coughs> is just take a different. Um, I should have that was just a flat paintbrush. I mean, that's that's how precise I am. <laughs> um, and then just take one with this kind of tip, and then I'm just I just add a little bit of water to the. Um, the green just to thin it out and then bring in a little bit of the, the dark. Um, and then I've just, from the bottom up, just really randomly put some lines through like, like if you've got the flowers, you know, coming up. And don't worry about making it too precise because we're just going to come in and fill that in. Okay? So now this same brush I'm going to clean that. I'll tell you what, let me just grab something really quick. So, okay guys, so with this tag, I used this type of a brush. And I will use a little bit of that, but the other thing you can use is Q-tips um, for this. And it's really, really fun. Um, okay, so let, now let's get all of our purples down. You, you don't need much, as you can see, but because you don't want to waste it. But get, i got three different shades here just to give that lavender a little more depth and then we also need a bit more of the white. We'll come back and use that in a minute. Okay? 
Super, super quick, guys. Super easy project. So I will come back and use this brush. So get it clean um, because I think at the end it might make it stand out a little bit better if I start with this. Um, so just take a little bit of the purple and don't be too, like I said, don't try to um, be too precise with this. It's just little bitty dabs of it and don't fill it in completely because you're going to come in with the different um, shades of lavender, uh, sorry, purples so that you know it gives it some um, depth. Gosh, I sound like I know what I'm talking about, don't I? Yeah, it's been so long, guys, since I've done any kind of painting, but I love flowers. I mean, I am obsessed over um, roses, but I I wanted to do that um, as the demonstration, but I just couldn't. I could not master those roses, and I that's what I've been working on. You know, the last, probably the last month I've been playing around with, I really wish I could um, draw, uh, paint roses because they are just beautiful, but it's, I haven't got that technique down, so. <laughs> okay, so you can see, I don't want to go too much, you just here and there, um, and I don't want to fill them in too much and take a little bit of white now, Ooh, that's a bit too much, sorry. Get some of the darker and just dab that. Let me get that back over there. Because I don't want to fill those in too much or it's not going to look um, look real. But yeah, if you like and think this is something you'd like to try, just do a search um, online for florals and there's a, you'll be amazed at how many tutorials there are out there for uh, making you know flowers with acrylics and isn't YouTube amazing now that we've got all of this at our, our fingertips because you think about when when I took oil painting my dad had to drive me like 20 miles each way and then he would have to sit there and wait <laughs> I mean kids these days would be like what really? But yeah, that's the way it was, and you just think, wow. It has changed so much that we can just sit down in the privacy of our home and uh, and learn anything that we want. I'm going to come back with this brush because I do feel like those are now starting to get really too smudged there. Yeah, I just I just sat down and played around until I I got you know the way I felt I liked it, and uh, I want to just practice on some of the other uh, types of flowers and see if I can get a bit better at them. Like I said, the the uh, roses I've tried and I'm not. I'm not picking that up, but I know with all these things, you just got to keep practicing at them. And there, that looks a little bit better on that one.
Okay, let me check the time, guys. Okay, we're okay still. Okay, maybe I'll do one more over here, I think. A little bit of white on that one. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit more, and this does it dries pretty quick, guys. So Just taking that darker green and putting a little bit more along the bottom there. Oh, I like that. I'm happy how that came out, actually. Very rustic, you know, very simple, as you can see. I mean, it's a Q-tip. <laughs> but it just shows you guys, you know, I mean, I think that's come out really pretty. And I like the background. Um... I think that's enough. I think it's that's enough of the uh, lavender in there. So I'm happy with that. I wish I could do a butterfly on it, but I can't. So what I might do when it dries is come back with like a dark purple um, butterfly cutout. Actually, you know what? Let's just see. Let's just play, shall we? Uh, where are my die cuts? Okay, just a minute, guys. Let me see if I can find us something. get a little bit of I've got that one and then let's take a craft sorry about that noise so there's a plain cardstock and there's a craft one let's just see <coughs> if we could just I don't know, do a purple butterfly without it being too perfect. And then I can just, after this is all dry, um, I could just put that on the... Um, to give it some dimension and then maybe a little bit of twine or something we can do. So I'll just let that dry. Let's see how it would look if we do it on this um, craft one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think I like that as well. Oh, I don't know. That's come out okay, hasn't it? Okay. So, yeah, I'm just thinking that that could just be put there. Let's see if I can dry that quickly. All right, let me hit it with a gun, guys, and I'll come back and we'll see what this looks like with a little bit of uh, trim and stuff. Okay guys, I have dried that and then I just spritzed it with a bit of the Glimmer Mist and I'm really happy with how that's come out because that kind of toned it down and gave it, you know, even a bit more interest because you've got some of the uh, mist that's clung there and I love it. I'm really happy with how that's come out. Like I said, this is not uh, me professing to be an, uh, a painter, just showing you guys, you know, that... You can play around with supplies that you got in your house. I mean, like I said, we used a Q-tip 
just cheap, inexpensive um, paint brushes that you've got lying around. Just play and have a little bit of fun. And what a great way to turn, um, you know, some of our leftover trash into something that we can actually use within our journals. And so I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I'm going to put a link below um, to the acrylic paints if you're interested in those. Just be aware that um, that is an affiliates link. And if you do decide to purchase the, um, the paints, I will get a very small um, commission from that. It's no extra charge to you, but I do need to make sure that you do understand that those are affiliate links. So thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I will be back very soon with more tutorials. Take care. Bye.